Do you ever feel like people don't like you? Relationships can be incredibly difficult to navigate. You may find some people look the other way when you're around and you can't help but wonder why. While there are some things you can do to improve yourself and your likability, there are other parts of you that you just have to accept. With that said, here are seven things you do that might make people dislike you. Number one, being fake. You've probably heard the phrase, be yourself, as advice when you're meeting new people. This allows you to show how colorful and unique you are. On the other hand, when you try to be someone you're not, it can come across as inauthentic and make some people wary of you and your intentions. It's better to be your authentic self, as you'll find that people that do like you, like you for who you are. While being yourself doesn't necessarily mean you'll be the most popular in the room, you'll find that the friendships that come out of it are much stronger than those built on a facade. Number two, being one-sided. Conversations and relationships should be a two-way street. While it's no secret that being selfish, taking advantage of others and not letting others speak will make them dislike you, the reverse can be true as well. Letting someone else do all the talking and provide no input from your side is typically less favorable. Having back and forth conversations, letting others speak their perspective and you responding with your own is better than a one-sided interrogation. Basically create dialogue instead of a monologue. Number three, not smiling. Smiling has numerous benefits outside of social situations, including improving your overall mood. Did you know that smiling can make you more attractive to other people? It can make you appear more approachable and friendly than if you're frowning. While it can be hard to know what your face is doing, you may find it makes a difference in how people interact with you. After all, people pay close attention to your nonverbal expressions. Number four, getting too personal right away. As social beings, we rely on others for support, and the closer we are to people, the more we're willing to let them in, but timing is also important. Telling your best friend of 10 years something really personal is different from a person you met 10 minutes ago. Doing this can be off-putting and can lead a person to judge you in a way that someone who knows your full story wouldn't. Let someone get to know you first and understand you as a person before letting them in on all your secrets. Number five, bragging. While it can be nice to flex some of your wonderful achievements on others, there's a time and a place for everything, and bragging can be a huge turnoff when used in the wrong situation. Talking too much about yourself and your achievements can come off as self-centeredness and create a sense of superiority that drives others away. While this may seem obvious, do know that this isn't the only way to brag. Humble bragging is essentially the same action, although it's veiled by self-criticizing a positive attribute about themselves. For example, if you tell someone that you care too much about a project and that's why your group members have a difficult time getting along with you, you're essentially boasting that you have a great work ethic but are disguising it as self-deprecation. Number six, being threatening. The person can feel threatened by you for reasons beyond the obvious. Perhaps you have something that the other person does not and jealousy comes into play. Maybe they're insecure about something within themselves and project it onto you. So unless you're actively doing something that could potentially harm a person, sometimes people may dislike you because of something that they're lacking. But this isn't the only way that you can appear threatening. Your body language, tone of voice, and what you talk about are important as well. Making sure you keep your body language open and working to make your peers more comfortable can help. And number seven, being yourself. Okay, hear us out. While this may be surprising, it's true that sometimes being who you are will turn others away. This can be through many factors. In many cases, certain people have different preferences that may not align with your personality. While it's important to know that you can improve yourself, especially if you're doing something harmful, it should not come at the expense of pretending to be someone else, as we said at the start. Sometimes you may just be incompatible with certain groups and that's okay. You can improve what you wanna change, but also accept what you cannot. When you are your authentic self, you might drive some people away, but you may also pull in people who accept and love you for who you are, and you may find that it will attract others to you and build connections much stronger than the other way. After all, the quality of friendships is more important than quantity. Can you relate to any of the things mentioned? Let us know in the comments below if you liked this video and share it with others. The references and studies used are listed in the description below. Until next time and take care.